it's like I can't really talk about what's coming because nobody knows what's coming. It's right. a year ahead. Yes. What was your reaction when you found out that the days was going to go in this direction? I, you know, I think all of us were just like, what? What are we doing? But I'll tell you, it's been really exciting, really, really fun. I mean, I was I, I started reading the whole scripts. I don't normally even do that because I just want to see, oh, my God, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? I think it was really a clever idea. I think some of the viewers, well, a lot of viewers probably going to be like, wait, what? Because they also wanted status quo, too, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think if everybody just rides the wave and rides the ride with us, they're going to have some really fun stuff. Such good scenes, too. Mm -hmm. Like, And uh, I think, you know, there's, we have such a talented cast, and there's mm -hmm. just so many... So many well-written, fun things that everybody's doing. Yeah, it was exciting. It's very exciting. Uh, I, I really, I personally had a great time over these last eight months. I mean, it's a, you yeah. know, been a big arc. You know, what I really enjoyed uh, this year was with Jack coming back, the revisiting of that whole past between Jack and Caleb. That was some intense yeah. scenes going on. How was I that for know. you? No, It's interesting because, you know, it was such a long time ago when that happened, and, uh, I then had some scenes with my daughter Stephanie on the show at one point many years ago where I say something about like I had been raped and I was thinking like I had been raped who raped me and it was that and it was and then now I have seen the scenes now too and I think oh right right so I think it's I think this show one of the great things is that they have this history to pull off of they can you know we are in show 13,000 something or other and they pull flashbacks from 5,000 something so uh, if, if our egos can take that jump to our youth, you know, whatever, <laughs> or our jump back, I, but, um, but so, so, I mean, I just think all these things, I, I like emotional things. I like when we play that emotional un, is, the, is the under foundation of it, you know. Um, I, think, I think it's interesting. And it was interesting for us to revisit that, you know. Yeah. I thought it was also like an interesting thing with Kayla that she wanted to help Jack, but then she was also having to fight this memory well, that was isn't that in too. kind of how we? I mean, nothing's so straightforward, black and white in our right. personal lives, right? Everything's, if we really think about it, everything's complicated, really, mm -hmm. you know, and that taints the way we uh, approach things or the way we react to things, and so I think it's interesting because a lot of times it everything's just so on the nose so it's nice if there's these things that are under you know mm -hmm. so I know we don't know what's going to happen but we do know from Soap Opera Digest things Stephen Nichols is returning we don't know where the story's yeah. going but you know, uh, I missed you know. him so much he and I I mean we've known each other forever worked together forever or mm -hmm. so we both are so connected working together and I was devastated when he left it was so so difficult so all year I was hoping that he would come back. So I'm glad. I'm so glad and thankful they brought him back. Yeah, well, it's exciting to see what, you know, to, to f find out what's going to happen with them. Yeah. What is your favorite Steve and Kayla storyline that you guys have done together? Well, I would, I mean, I would say Emily and Gideon because I just, for me as an actor, it was so fun, you know, like an accent and costumes. You felt like you really were an actor, you know. So that was, and we went on location, which and we haven't done that probably since then, you know. So it was just a fun time, and he and I were just so connected and so into the story, and it was a lot of fun. In fact, when his, you know, character, whatever, I don't know if he was a sergeant or a colonel or whatever he was, but he was playing down in the valley on the piano as Gideon, and when my kids were born about that time, I used to sing down in the valley to them, some version, badly, uh, it, when they were little infants, and it was really because I had heard him sing it in the in those scenes. Uh -huh. So it it just was a sweet time. What is your favorite storyline as Kayla, outside of Steve and Kayla, a storyline that you had on your own? I, you know, actually, I really loved, well, I've always loved any family scenes, but the mother, uh, the, with the mother with Alzheimer's story. I thought, oh, yeah. I thought that was just, she's so brilliant, Peggy, and she did such a beautiful job, and I love her so much. So to it was heartbreaking for me to play that with uh -huh. her because... I loved her so much. So I, I really enjoyed those scenes with her. And she's such a professional. She, you know, we all learned a lot from her. Uh -huh. 